After a two-year hiatus, Turkey has resumed its search for hydrocarbons in the energy-rich eastern Mediterranean. Its latest mission will be carried out by the Abdul Hamid Han, Turkey's fourth and newest drilling ship. President Erdogan says the vessel began preparing for drilling operations earlier this week off the coast of Mersin in southern Turkey. Our exploration and drilling in the Mediterranean is within our own sovereign dominion. We don't need to seek permission or ratification from anyone for this. Measuring 238 meters long, the Abdul Hamid Han is the largest and most advanced deep sea drilling ship in Turkey's exploration fleet. One of only five in the world, the vessel is designed to drill deeper than 12,000 meters. The eastern Mediterranean holds substantial reserves of natural gas, which Turkey spent $40 billion last year importing. The launch of the Turkish drilling ship comes as tensions between Ankara and Athens are on the rise over Greece's militarization of islands in the Aegean and the pushback of migrants. So will the Abdul Hamid Han help Turkey boost its energy production? And how will Greece respond? And now to discuss the importance of the Abdul Hamid Han drilling ship, joining me now from Ankara is Oktay Tanu Sever. He is a professor at the Middle East Technical University and also from Ankara. Göktu Shahin, he is a lecturer at Hacı Bayram Veli University. Gentlemen, welcome to Straight Talk. It's good to have you on the program. So, Oktay, Turkey has resumed its hydrocarbon drilling operations in the eastern Mediterranean after an interval of two years. What could you tell us about the timing? I think this is a, a, quite a right time for Turkey to start this after the COVID uh, made it difficult to make such operations. Uh, like all uh, uh, operations uh, in the sea, uh, I think it is important to uh, wait until the end of the COVID uh, period. But also, the uh, Turkey's decision to buy uh, Abdul Hamid Han uh, drilling ship is also important. It is the latest uh, uh, technology. It has the latest technology, um, and it is able to. Uh, perform this task. Yes. Uh, I think this is uh, the reason why Turkey started the operation right now. So, Göktu, somehow argued that the ship's scope of uh, driveling activities are quite modest. But could it be construed as a, a goodwill gesture by Turkey to de-escalate tensions in eastern Mediterranean and maybe lay a groundwork for a possible dialogue between Turkey, Greece and the Greek Cypriot administration? Or am I so optimistic? Uh, first of all, thank you very much for your kind invitation. Uh, you know, uh, after August 9, the Abdul Hamid Han drilling ship uh, set off on um, East Mediterranean. And as we remember, uh, it belongs, goes to uh, and up to May 19. The necessary maintenance, development and updating works have, uh, works have started and the ship has taken its place in the fleet as our fourth and most equipped dribbling uh, ship after Fatih Kanuni and uh, Yavuz ships. Uh, we strongly believe that the Abdul Hamid Han drilling ship, which is a very advanced ship, will successfully complete the tasks given by the contribution of its well-equipped crew, as you said. Um, actually, uh, in the Mediterranean basin, it is a region that has maintained its importance throughout throughout history, has not fallen off the agenda with the power struggles uh, seen in recent years, especially in terms of Eastern Mediterranean region. This progression uh, occurring, uh, which started with Turkey's objection to the exclusive economic zone agreement signed between Egypt and the Greek Cyprus administration in 2003, due to the developments in the region and the natural gas exploration activities, um, went goes to uh, 2018 and continued with mutual moves. Uh, there is a issue that uh, about two years, especially about two years, uh, we haven't kept any ships in the region. You know. Yes. Uh, while, while Greece and the Greek Cypriot uh, administration were encouraged in this process in the current conjuncture. Uh, the uncertainty of the status uh, in the uh, East Med pipeline project and the change in the U.S. position regarding the region 
the sanctions against Russia, the changes in the attitudes of countries uh, such as Israel towards us. Uh, these are the uh, occurrences yes. about the So, subject, Oktay, you know. uh, what do you make of the uh, Greek reaction so far? Has this ship appended the uh, Athens administration already? Although uh, there were some uh, exaggerated reactions to Turkish uh, um, attempt uh, to start this uh, um, drilling activity, uh, I think they are more worried about uh, if, to, if and when Turkey uh, carried out uh, similar uh, drilling activity in other parts of uh, Turkish uh, uh, naval zone, uh, I think uh, they are trying to escalate the uh, crisis uh, right now because uh, even if they are confident that uh, this is not a problem for their interest at the moment, uh, they alarm international community about the prospect of increased tensions. But uh, this doesn't reflect Turkey's position. Turkey is mainly interested in um, developing energy resources in the region for the common benefit of uh, the whole region. Uh, so uh, I think uh, Greece should uh, change its position uh, to a more cooperative one. Uh, because this is the time when European countries need more energy from mm -hmm. uh, sources not controlled by Russia. Turkey uh, offers uh, such an alternative to Europe. I think uh, as a NATO ally, uh, Greece and other countries in Europe, they should support Turkey. And Turkey's um, attempts at developing more energy in Eastern Mediterranean. So, um, Gökta, has Russia's attack on Ukraine changed Europe's calculus as well as ob its objections on Turkish drilling activities in these uh, contested waters, or their objections remain the same as energy prices skyrocket? Actually, Russia, Israel, uh, USA, and other countries in the uh, European Union uh, they changed their minds on this subject because of the uh, prices and etc. you mentioned. Uh, apart from the problems caused by factors such as the epidemic in the energy markets, the EU or you know, uh, European Union, whose need for energy resources has increased as a result of the attitude towards Russia, especially due to the Ukraine issue, and will have difficulty in finding uh, the Europe uh, will have difficulty in finding a source to replace it if it does not buy natural gas from Russia. Mm -hmm. uh, although the uh, European Euro Union tries to solve the problem uh, with coal, nuclear energy and other so uh, resource diversifications in uh, prepa preparation for the upcoming period, it is unlikely that uh, this will be resolved in a short time. Mm -hmm. The amount of natural gas that uh, European Union supplies from Russia is approximately 125 billion cubic meters per year. And I think it's hard to replace that in a short time. And the, the politics of the countries change eventually. Yes. So, Oktay, the European Union has confirmed that natural gas will uh, remain a bridge fuel uh, up to 2049 as part of this uh, green transition. So despite the U.S. Uh, withdrawal from the EastMet uh, project due to its technical and uh, commercial viability, could this uh, 6 billion euro project, the pipeline I'm talking about, be revived due to, uh, due to uh, surging energy prices? Um, I don't think so. I think U.S. decision to... Uh, to declare this project, ISMET pipeline project, uh, unfeasible, it stems from its uh, policy of reducing tensions in the region. Of course, Greece was uh, determined to go ahead with the project, even if it is not uh, economical. Of course, the increasing energy prices might make this project uh, relatively more uh, feasible, but uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense because of existing uh, problems, differences among countries. Uh, so as long as uh, these uh, problems are not resolved uh, regarding the delimitation of maritime zones, uh, I think such projects are not uh, feasible, realistic. Mm -hmm. uh, so they may not uh, be realized. So 
we should focus on realistic projects. I think the most realistic one uh, might uh, be uh, might pass through Turkey, Israel, uh, Greece, Turkey, Egypt, uh, both sides of the Cyprus, northern and the southern uh, Cypriot uh, governments. They might uh, come together and develop East yes. Mediterranean. Just together. So and we know that Cyprus lies at the core of these problems. So um, Göktürk, could a new round of negotiations on Cyprus be launched? Is there enough uh, political will on both sides to sit at the negotiations table or domestic policies outweigh the possibility of such a rapprochement? Mm -hmm. Such progress is started actually with Israel, Europe, uh, actually as as we remember yesterday, I guess, uh, the Greece uh, made an announcement about, uh, or what we can say, reaction about uh, this progress, Eastern uh, Mediterranean progress. Uh, but their reaction was not actually heard by many countries. I think United uh, Nations with the, uh, you know, uh, we are, uh, Turkey carries out this situation in accordance with the United Nations laws in its ter territorial waters. And uh, the Greece counterparts' uh, sayings are, I think, have no validity. And European Union, with the uh, progresses again, uh, the COVID-19 pandemics, etc., etc., especially Ukraine-Russian uh, war, uh, they know uh, they need Turkey. Okay. So, so Oktay, President Erdogan uh, said the ship, Abdul Hamid Han ship, will operate in the Turkish waters at least until October. Uh, why do you think he set this timetable and after October are we likely to see tensions simmer again as we have seen in 2020? I don't think so. I think um, because uh, two months time is sufficient for the completion of this project because earlier uh, seismic uh, activity uh, provided certain data, uh, and then based on that data, uh, the Abdulhamitan drilling ship, uh, we have this drilling, and then they will see the result, and in two months' time, they will see whether uh, opening new, uh, uh, developing this site is uh, feasible or not, uh, we will uh, make the final decision. Of course, the Turkish authorities have the data, other seismic data from other parts of the Mediterranean. And then if they uh, succeed in finding um, energy resources in this site, they will continue at the Europe one uh, site. But uh, if not, then they will move to other promising areas in the uh, region. Uh, we don't know what kind of data they have. Uh, so we have to wait and see. But at the same, at present, there is no reason for any side to be concerned about uh, international rivalries. I think this should be this time should be used as an opportunity to bring uh, regional countries together to uh, reduce their differences and focus on common approaches for developing resources in the region. This is uh, possible only through dialogue. Yes. Uh, and Turkey is interested in mainly developing energy region, energy resource in the region without compromising its national interest. Of course, Turkey is concerned about its national interest in the region. Uh, but uh, through diplomacy, these uh, differences could be resolved. All right, gentlemen. Unfortunately, we'll have to leave it here. Thank you very much for joining me on Straight Talk. Thank you.